You're welcome. Schools across Nevada County don't have internet access. The Nevada Union High School District shut off the internet as it investigates a cyber incident. Now, some schools are already back online, but your reporter covering Nevada County, Kayla Moeller, is live with what we know about this incident right now. Kayla. Well, Hunter and Curtis, the Nevada Joint Union High School District is going old school. While they wait for the internet access to return, school is still in session, but students are going back to the basics, like talking to each other in class discussions and using real life factual books. Like nine years old. It's definitely a learning curve because now we're interacting with more like the books or like the olden day, old age kind of thing. Did you hear that, folks? The kids are calling pre internet days the old age. But they seem to be faring well at Nevada Union High School after a cyber incident Wednesday morning cut off internet access. We had a, a breach in our data system. Um, a third party was able to successfully infiltrate our network security system. The superintendent says the extent of the breach is still unknown, but they're working with the State Department of Cybersecurity to correct the problem. It's had an impact on all Nevada County schools. Yesterday we had nine schools outside of our district that did not have internet. We have five schools within our district that have been down. We are in the network operating center and these machines right here push internet out to all of the nine other schools in Nevada County. There's an adjustment that's happening. People are being flexible. It's also a great teachable moment um, to, to look into what, uh, what life would be like if infrastructure were to go down. One of Internet is expected to be fully restored for the next school week, but it could be up and running as early as Friday. Students say they're ready for the Wi-Fi to come back. Um, it's been really hard to get access to information as well. I actually have to like dig into a textbook, you know. Um, basically not fun is what I'd say. There's definitely been some shifting in terms of lesson plans and the things that I had laid out, but you just move things around and make it function as best you can. And there's some initial resistance, you know, but once we get rolling, they're pretty good. A teacher just walked by and said, we're doing it like the 1990s, I love it. And I thought that was funny. Uh, meanwhile, the superintendent tells me while they are working to confirm the level of the breach that no student data has been compromised because that's stored in a completely separate system. And they also say that they've tracked the IP address to somewhere in Britain, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything because the bad actors could easily uh, cover their tracks by faking the IP address. As soon as the district has some more information, we'll keep you updated.